What up, Toe It is time to take on the brand new eight year anniversary challenge event. This event, I think, is on par with the red zone. It is called When Wishes Backfire Birth of the Shadow Dragons. So we're going to be running through this from stage one. We're going to do each video on each stage. Uh, I imagine this is going to be on the same level as the red zone. So the first few stages might be a little bit more manageable, but still challenging. And then as you move further and further on into the anniversary, the stage will get tougher and tougher. I have heard that the final stage of this event is very, very difficult, but we will only have to deal with that during part three. Now, things you got to know in this uh, in this run, Hayes Shenron is your only opponent. He is STR and you gain an extra advantage when you're using artificial lifeform category units. So when we jump in, I'm going to be using a full AGL artificial lifeforms team and I'm using some pretty old units. I'm doing this because I'm hoping that in this first stage, it's going to be a little bit more accessible with older units. I'm going to try to continue that trend of using older units in general. But as the stages get tougher and tougher, it's obviously meant to be used with the newer and better units. So I will have to resort to those better units. But for now, let's try this. I am recording this before the actual summons release. So once the banners come out for the eight year anniversary units, you bring those guys on the majority of these events, you're going to be just fine. But for right now, we're going to be running artificial life forms. Let me change the item. Let's use a Whis and let's use a Bulma. I, I mean, this is my standard setup for red zone. So we're running double 200%. A couple of these units are at the 170 level. Everybody left of the Android 13, including him, are 200%. The Cooler, the Cell Junior, and actually this guy's also 200%. Uh, he is my extra copy of the Imperfect Cell. So let's just jump in. Let's see how we do. I have no idea what to expect other than my history with Red Zone in the past. So let's see uh, how this plays out. It's the first stage. It's against this dude. So I don't imagine it's going to be too difficult. And we've got a full big bad bosses rotation. So I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use a, a Whis or anything right now. I just kind of want to feel him out. I want to see how well he can... Uh, how well we can do against this guy. So let's do this. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I think we're going to be missing out a little bit on some... Yep. Kind of got shafted on the key there, but that's okay. We should be fine. Especially since we are using the uh, artificial life ones. Okay. Yeah. I think we should be fine. Okay. Not bad. Oh, we're getting hit right away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. This first round is uh, pretty easy because it's just this guy. There's nobody else. This is like, was Legic a single round fight or a two round fight? I don't remember. All right, so even without being able to uh, stack that other Imperfect Cell, he was more than okay. All right, so here uh, I'll put, uh, I guess I'll put the Super 17 in slot two. And once again, we are getting shafted on the key. Can I at least give the Cell Jr. some super attacks? Yes. All right, so I also purposely wanted to bring some weaker units also, because if this event ended up being too easy, I wanted to show that bringing some weaker guys will still be fine, which is where the uh, Cell Juniors come into play. Cell Jr., not the greatest unit to be running, desperately needs an easy A, but I figured, you know what, what the heck, let's, let's try him out. Let's see how difficult of an event this is with this dude on the team. Cell Jr. gets an additional super attack guaranteed with a perfect Cell present, I believe. Yeah, we're taking 40k on those slaps. That's fine. We got a Whis. Uh, or not a Whis. Yeah, we, well, we got Whis, but we also have the Bulma support memory, which more often than not gets wasted. So I'm trying to be a little bit more cavalier in the first couple rounds. So now we can actually benefit from a Bulma support memory because we're taking some damage here. But now we've got the we've got the Cell transformed, so semi-perfect. Uh, I kind of want to have the Cooler in slot 3 because he's going to be able to get hit a lot. He's going to get a ton of stats, and I really want that. So let me actually do this. So then we can have the 17 or the semi-perfect cell go, and then we'll have the cooler go. We should, If we don't win here, we should win next turn, I feel like. This guy doesn't even have to do damage. This is chilling. Here we go. Okay, there's one. I mean, this guy... <laughs> This guy just might take him out. We got big bad bosses across the board. We have extra Android support with the 13 up front. And we're launching three supers. It's over. It's over. There you go. So I, I got this done with a bunch of old school units. You definitely can too. You don't need the eight years, uh, eight year part one banners at all. First of all, they're not even artificial life forms. But secondly, you don't need 
you know, necessarily the newer units to do some of these low end events. So there's the first one. First one is in the books. You know what? We'll take on the second one as well. Let's do the second one. We'll, we'll just do both in this video. The second one is against the Rage Shenron. Rage Shenron is going to be tech, and the unit can seal and stun. Actually, you know what? That, that could pose some problems. That actually, I'm going to save that for a separate video. We'll do that for a separate video. So we'll just wrap this one up. This is a quick one. The first round is pretty easy. Bring any artificial life form team and you should be fine. You don't have to use AGL like I did. You could bring other artificial life form type units. You could uh, do a lot of different things with a bunch of different units. So feel free to experiment, have a little fun. Uh, this is not the most tough event. So there will be tougher ones out there. So embrace the simplicity of this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what team you ran against the Hage Shenron event. Were you surprised? Were you underwhelmed? Were you overwhelmed? Let me know your strategy. Let me know everything in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you'll be able to know when I say more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.